We have specific features which clearly show this is a Porsche. If you take the cross section above the bonnet, for example, that the wings are higher than the bonnet. The proportions are not only dynamic, but I always say dramatic. The most important task was to make it a real Porsche, no matter the drive technology. And it was only our second step then to say, okay, electromobility, what new freedoms do we have? With electric vehicles, good aerodynamics are absolutely crucial. They always convert to a better range, which is why we said, okay, let's focus on this aspect. A real breakthrough here at the front is flow at the side, a very modern touch. The difference with the interior, of course, is that it has to be convenient for everyday use. How can I arrange all the information around me in a way that makes sense? We have a standalone screen, for example, actually on the instrument cluster. I think that we as designers always try to see how we can combine function and beauty. We have a couple of cool ideas, such as how certain pieces of luggage can be fixed at the back. Very lifestyle oriented. As far as functionality is concerned, a Cross Turismo does have one or two advantages over a classic sports car. Porsche has always had such ideas, but what we are showing you is the next step. This vehicle is Porsche's answer to the questions associated with the future of electric mobility. Our Porsche Mission E. This concept car is a truly fantastic challenge for us because it's our first electric sports car. You're commissioned to do a job, in this case, to develop a four-seat sports car with an electric drive system. Then you start producing sketches as a team. And then the sketches are shown in presentations that are made in specific intervals. After a sketch has been selected, a one to three scale model is produced. When you're defining the basic concept for the vehicle, you start out by setting its proportions and then you figure out how to actually build it. We built a basic chassis and then combined it with electrical components from the Boxster E. So in the end, we had a demonstration model that could be driven. It was very important to us here to create typical Porsche proportions. We were able to design an extremely low front end because there's no engine in the front. We also didn't need to have any huge air intakes, so we were able to design everything in the front in a very clean manner, almost a bit like the old Porsche models from the 1950s, 60s and 70s. We then mixed the whole thing with the wonderful shapes of the 919 creating this combination of a race car and a carefully designed vehicle was the best part of the job. One thing we thought about, of course, was how to attractively integrate an air curtain that would guide air around the front wheel. This led to the front-end design we chose, which, as one can see, has the classic round Porsche nose flanked by two intakes that let air pass under the headlights towards the wheel arch. First of all, the vehicle is clearly recognizable as a Porsche. But we designers wanted to go a step further and see how the Porsche design language, and especially a Porsche electric design language, might be developed further. Our intention here was to also be somewhat provocative with some parts of the vehicle. But nevertheless, just one look at its proportions and the general design is all it takes to see that the vehicle is clearly a Porsche. We also addressed a couple of strategic issues that are very important to us. The four-point lights in the front were important to me. The arc of light was the main issue in the rear. For us, the door concept is a typical sports car design, one without a frame for the first time. Convenient entry in the rear is ensured by rear hinged doors, and the fact that there's no B pillar makes for perfect access in the rear.
The vehicle is very special for Porsche, as it's a new icon. One of our most well-known cars is the 911, of course. And this vehicle will carry into a new era all the things the 911 has been famous for throughout the decades. That's why we came up with some very special things for the interior as well. We tried to focus on various key aspects, one of these being the fact that we wanted to achieve an entirely new type of interaction with a vehicle. We utilize gesture and eye recognition systems here to enter commands for the car. We tried to create a new type of holographic display. You can input commands on the front passenger side and via the center console. This, in fact, is already a standard feature in the 918 today. Besides that, we did something new with the seats. We've got lightweight seats that are bucket seats, naturally, and these have a fairly sporty design. Then there's the craftsmanship, of course. The quality of the materials used truly conforms to the highest standards, which is just what you'd expect from a Porsche.